Here's why you should set up your own custom toolbars in Reaper. First you will need some toolbars to use. You should make or add actions to toolbars every time you have to open the actions window. Every time you create your own custom actions, you should add it to a toolbar. In fact every time you need to open the actions window, open it by opening the appropriate toolbar and choose Customize Toolbar, then click Add and search for the action. After you find it in the list click Select and place it in the toolbar to use. This is a way to make custom toolbars fast. Here are some of mine which may help give you ideas for your own custom toolbars. I set up a color toolbar which is very common. Also a grid toolbar. One I use a lot is the render toolbar made with custom render actions. But this video is not showing you how to make toolbars but what you can do with them. After you have your toolbars made, open actions window and search for context. Look for the action. Open close contextual toolbar under mouse cursor. Reset 1 through 8. You need to assign key cuts or key commands for these actions. Reaper's default key cut for opening the toolbar docker is F. So I used F with the typical key commands like you see here. Assigning key cuts is as easy as choosing the action and click the add button. A window will open just press the key cut you want to use. If it's taken by another action it will warn you before it overwrites it. So no worries. Once you are done assigning keys for the presets, go to the extensions menu and choose the SWS extension, contextual menus from the drop down list. Choose the preset you want to set up from the menu. In the window below you will see all the areas within Reaper in which you can hover over with your mouse. Next to it will be the toolbar you choose to open. Next to that will be the option to have it auto close after you use the toolbar. And next to that will be where you can adjust the axis point as to where it will appear next to your mouse once it is opened. So for example, my key cut for preset 1 is command F. So when I press command F and hover my mouse over the TCP area it will open my render tools toolbar and auto close it after I use it. Same thing with my mixer area. But when I place the mouse over the arrange area it will open my edit toolbar instead. Notice it selected the track and item that the mouse is over when the toolbar opens as well. You must set that up in the right side of the window by simply checking the boxes. Remember I have more than one key cut assigned, so preset 2 will be totally different toolbars. Option F will open my show select toolbar, which is great for when you only want to see certain tracks, such as only vocals, or only drums, or bass, or guitars. or all buses. Reset number 3 is set for control F. This will select the track under it and open my color toolbar. But over the arrange window it opens a simple grid toolbar. Option F opens my envelope toolbar. And Shift F opens my dynamic split toolbar which will stay open for me to use. But Shift F while over the mixer or TCP area will open my insert FX toolbar which holds my most commonly used plugins. So adding my favorite EQ or compressor is super quick. Desktop space can be limited so why fill it up with permanently positioned toolbars. Try it out, set them up and start using them. Your Reaper workflow will only benefit. So there you have it. Contextual toolbars, another reason why Reaper is so much better than the rest.